Uh-oh. Looks like it's out of order. If I play this game, I can win an anchor. This takes a fun pass. Lucky you! You're about to play Squid Toss! By the way, you have three fun credits left on your card. Catapult the squid through the hoop. to play Squid Toss. In case you were wondering, you have two fun credits left on your card. Catapult the squid through the hoop. Swimmer's itch. By the way, you have one fun credit left on your card. Your mission is to get the swimmer to the beach. about results. L.H. Lance Huffington, maybe? Wow, that's one expensive watch. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I'd like to take a look inside the band organ, but my access card doesn't seem to open it. Ingrid probably took it offline for the shutdown. You're gonna have to go see her. I'll see you around. Go get him. It's locked. Hey, Nance, what's going on? I'll let you get back to work. Rock on. It's locked. State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office. I'm sorry, what did you say? I said, State Board of Parole. Louis Guerra's office. You mean Mr. Guerra works with people who've just been released from prison? That's correct. But he's out of the office right now. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, please. Would you have him call Nancy Drew? Concerning? Harlan Bishop. I believe he's a client of Mr. Guerra's? 
Is Harlan up to something he shouldn't be? I'm not sure yet. Would you happen to know what prison he was in? You're going to have to wait and ask Mr. Guerra that question. What was the name? Nancy Drew. My number is 523-555-4399. That's my cell phone. He can call me any time. I'll let him know. Thank you. Talk to me. Yes, hi. Um, is this Lance Huffington? You betcha. Who's this? Well, I'm Nancy Drew. I work with Ingrid Corey. I'm kind of her unofficial assistant here at the park. She tells me everything. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was wondering if she'd called you yet. You know, about the results? Yeah, she called me. And what did you tell her? Everything's great. Her plan worked. I'm glad she shared it with me. Life's good. <laughs> At least it will be when the trial's over and the settlement's in the bank. Whoa, speaking of which, I gotta go. I'm due in court. What'd you say your name was? Uh, Nancy. Well, Nancy, next time you call me, you could very well be talking to a multimillionaire. Ta-ta. Bye. Hello? Hi, it's Paula. Just thought I'd check in, see how you're doing. Actually, I'm kind of glad you called. Why? What's going on? I'm afraid I've discovered something kind of disturbing about Harlan. What, that he's an ex-con? I know. You do? It was the first thing out of his mouth when he applied for the job. He said being an outstanding security guard would prove to everyone once and for all that he's gone straight. I also found out that he used a security camera to get the code to Ingrid's work area. And he fits the description of the jewel thief cellmate that Detective Paris gave me. Oh, now that's disturbing. But I'm still going to give Harlan the benefit of the doubt until I have good reason not to. I appreciate your bringing this to my attention, though. All right. Goodbye, Paula. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? I got your soldering gun from Elliot and fixed that card reader. Does he borrow your tools a lot? Very rarely. He's not exactly a mechanical genius. I don't seem to be having much luck using my access card. Am I doing something wrong? I deactivated most of the readers because of the shutdown. Soon as I get done here, I'll get them online again. Sorry. Hey, if you come across a pair of pliers, hang on to them, okay? Mine are missing. Someone must have walked off with them. How well do you know Elliot Chen? Not very. But I've noticed he has a very strange aura. Very dark around the edges. Odd for an artist. But then, it's nowhere near as dark as Joy's. Her aura's a mess. Why do you think that is? She's hiding something. And she's hiding from something. Something very big and very dark. Plus, she eats way too many carbs. <laughs> to say nothing of pencils. Any advice on how to go about fixing the midway game that's broken? It needs to be reprogrammed. Open up the back. Should be some instructions on the clipboard. Check that handbook I gave you if they're too cryptic for you. But you'll also need the plug-in keyboard. And unfortunately, I have no idea where it is. One of my guys probably left it in the park somewhere. I understand that you know the man who got hurt in that roller coaster accident, Lance Huffington? I, I've talked to him. I don't really know him. How did you meet him? Look, what are you getting at? You and he could be partners. He gets on the roller coaster, you shut off the power, the coaster stops suddenly, he cries whiplash and sues the park, you share the settlement. Interesting theory. Unfortunately, it's totally wrong. I called him to tell him to rub his neck three times a day with witch hazel and lavender. If his neck is really injured, that will cure it. Why are you so eager to accuse me of something? Because you seem to have a lot of money, far more than the park pays you. I can't help but wonder where it's coming from. All right. I have been making money on the side. But it's not what you think. I've been helping someone design a roller coaster. I even let him borrow the blueprints for our coaster, so he could study them, not steal them. I kept it secret because it could be construed as conflict of interest. This guy knows I'm taking a risk, so he pays me very well. Now, your turn. It's obvious that you've been nosing around in here. How did you get in? Someone made a tape of you entering your security code into the keypad outside, which I just happened to see. Harlan. I knew it bugged him that this place was off limits, but spying on me? That guy's got a real problem. As for you, I'd appreciate it if you would kindly remove your nice and deficient little self from my office. I have work to do.
What is that noise? Sounds like it's coming from below. Just an old radiator. The keyboard is missing. Welcome to Barnacle Blast! Uh-oh, you are using your last fun credit, so I'm keeping your card. But don't worry, you can always get a new one. Now blast all those nasty barnacles off the ship! This 
looks a little like I the inside what goes of my on aunt's this player piano. Yeah, yeah, this is Tank. Yes, hello. My name is Nancy Drew. I never heard of you. Yes, I know. I'm trying to help Ms. Santos figure out what caused the roller coaster accident that shut down Captain's Cove. So why are you calling me? I run the carousel. I don't know from coasters. Well, to make a long story short, I need to find out the name of the band organ song that's on the third roll. What for? That's kind of where the long story part comes in. I haven't got time for long stories. Besides, how do I know you even know Miss Santos? Look, if you want to call her, I've got her number right here. I didn't drive 900 miles into the Canadian wilderness to call my boss. Anyway, I can't help you. I got no idea what song's on the third roll. Only way you're going to find out is to play it. Does a band organ still play paper rolls? You bet. Just flip the switch from CD to roll. Of course, you're going to need roll three, ain't you? It's in the cabinet in the gear room. There's a cabinet in there? That's right. 18, 9, 39. That's a combination. Oh, and one more thing. You're going to have a problem when you go to load the roll on account of... Holy moly! I either snagged a greyhound bus or the biggest fish in the Chaplow River is right here in the end of my line! <laughs> I'm sorry, but I gotta go! See, Miles said the song is on the third roll. This must be it. <sighs> Time to start crop. This goes to the space underneath the carousel. Wonder what that is. If I don't move, I'm gonna get skewered. There's something up there. Looks like a letter. The ballroom? That's what was converted into the haunted house. So, there was a door to Kessler's workshop by the radiator in what's now the haunted house. The take-up dowel is broken. Hey, Nance. What's going on? I need to make a dowel to replace this broken one from the band organ. Would it be all right if I used your equipment? I won't make a mess, I promise. Sure. Got a lathe, wooden rod, safety goggles. Knock yourself out. I gotta go run an errand, though, so try not to cut off any appendages until I get back. Those look like horse tails. Wow, 360 board feet. That's a lot of wood. Hmm, if Elliot wrote this guy's number down, maybe I should too.